Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, we are going to sort of have a little smorgasbord here of Murado number no. two pencils. So, uh, Murado was a model of a pencil. Uh, made for, oh gee, I don't know, maybe 75, 80 years, uh, maybe longer, <clears throat> uh, by a number of companies, uh, because companies got bought out and whatnot over the years. Um, and I have had a number of Murado pencils uh, in my collection, and then I want to acknowledge my pencil pal Joseph, who sent me even some more Murados and uh, a variety of them, uh, some number twos and some number ones. And so today I'm just going to look at the number twos. But he sent me some uh, American US made Murados. And so to me, that's really exciting, and I'm looking forward to trying those and comparing and contrasting them with some of the more um, uh, modern Murado pencils that were all made in Mexico. Now here in the United States, the Murado has been phased out, that name anyways, um, and it's been replaced by this, and I have reviewed this pencil. This is the Papermate Everstrong is what they're calling it, brake-resistant brake lead pencil. And uh, the packaging for the Everstrong really mirrors. It comes in a you know package, a blister pack, much like this. Often you'll see it with a pink pearl eraser because Papermate also makes those. Um, and this is sort of, you can see, they're still using the same, exact same ferrule and eraser that the Murado was using with the Everstrong. So this is what we have now in the U.S. Uh, as opposed to a pencil that says Murado on it. Now, we'll go through here. These are, let me see if there's any dates on here, 2015, made in Mexico. Uh, this one, uh, 2016, pencils made in Mexico, eraser made in Malaysia, and world's smoothest right guaranteed. Hmm, not so sure about that, but the Murado for a long time was considered a very good pencil, uh, particularly when they were still American made. And they were, um, I have a couple of, uh, I have a box of um, number one pencils when they were made by under the Sanford brand that state that they are cedar pencils. So we've got, you know, Eagle, Barrel, Sanford, Papermate, um, and I'm probably forgetting a couple. All these companies made Murados uh, over the decades. So these are more modern. Um, then here, look at this great box uh, from the Eagle years. Uh, Eagle Murado writing pencils. Uh, under here we have, uh, let's see. Number two, medium soft. And on the side, there's no date, but it does say registration US patent office. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for it to come into focus here. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, super bonded red band. And then on the back, uh, look at this. We've got a Eagle six degrees. So these pencils, like most full line pencils, were made in different core 
uh, strengths. You had number one, soft. Number one and a half, service soft. That's interesting to me. That's a one and a half registered trademark. Medium soft is a two, two and a half, true medium, three medium hard, four hard. Eagle Pencil Company, Danbury, Connecticut. And then uh, underneath New York, London, Toronto, Mexico. So they had a plant there even back then. Sydney, Bogota, and Caracas. So how about that? So there's the Eagle Murano. Here is a um, more 2012, a more contemporary after they uh, operate. Um, these were being manufactured in Mexico by Papermate, uh, which was Newell Rubbermaid, which still is, I believe and just a box of Murado Classic wood case pencil. So they're not saying they're cedar, they're just saying they're wood case, number 12, number two, HB. But included with the, the, the cool old Eagle Murado box, um, Joseph sent me a a couple of USA made Murados. One is, of course, it also came in the black. I don't know why this is not focusing here. Well, here we go. Uh, the It says USA Murado Black Warrior HB number two. Now it has two hearts up here, which is a, is a, is the um, Papermate trademark. So this is after Papermate um, started. It was branded Papermate, and then here's one when it was branded under Barrel Murado, uh, number two. And so these two are American made. Also to note that the Black Warrior is a round pencil as opposed to the yellow. Murado pencil, which is a hex pencil. I don't know if they're making Black Warriors anymore. If anybody knows, please share. Uh, here is a later incarnation of the Black Warrior, and I think I have some of these as well, um, when they were being made in Mexico. And primarily the same, except the paint job is different. Uh, I don't know if the camera can quite pick it out, but the um, Mexican-made Black Warrior has uh, is black, but of course, but it has a matte finish as opposed to this nice, really rich gloss black on the American-made Murado. Uh, and then Joseph also sent me. Uh, a Mexican barrel uh, Murado in number two and it's triangular. So there you go. So that's fun. Um, and I know uh, I have reviewed some other uh, more uh, modern uh, more recently manufactured uh, Papermate triangular pencils um, and in, in, in sort of pastel colors, I think they were, uh, on this channel. So um, I'm going to get some paper and we're going to just try them all and see how they are. Particularly interested to pit the uh, more vintagey American made uh, to the more modern uh, Murados from Mexico. We've got uh, our Murado lineup here sharpened and ready to go. I'm going to start with this barrel Murado 174 number two. Say, mm -hmm. a 
Okay. You know what? It's um. Let me come in here a little bit. It feels very much like a standard number two. Pretty smooth uh, and fairly quiet. So let's try this um, Murado Black Warrior. Number two, made in the USA. Excuse me. Um, really, almost feels identical to, uh, even though this one is manufactured by Papermate. Um, really feels very similar to that, uh, the first one, the barrel. Now um, I'm going to, because I just tried those two. Let me try the the Papermate Murado Classic here. I'm not sure if you can pick this out, but this actually is a much darker core. Um, than the Barrel Murado. It's softer. Uh, it is actually uh, probably, uh, the smoothness is about the same, I would say, but the, um, the impression, the line that it leaves, I think is, I think the camera uh, probably shows you better than I can say it, that it is fairly darker. All right, here is the Mexican-made Murado Black Warrior. You'll see also that when I start uh, initial use of these Mexican-made Murados, um, I do get a little bit of a breakage on the point at first right where that did not happen. Uh, so the the graphite the core on these Americans are is a little harder. Um, or formulated differently so that they they don't really they don't break. Um, okay. Let me Again, same core for the most part compared to the American-made Black Warrior. This is a number two, but it is softer and darker. And finally, I'm gonna try this Murado, uh, Barrel Murado, number two, made in Mexico, uh, triangular pencil. You do see this a lot, particularly on the more, um, I'm noticing it on this one, but on the on all of these where the ferrule is attached and the ferrule is, well, it looks crimped on here. On the triangular one, I might be glued on because I don't see any crimping marks. Um, but the uh, there's, you can see where it hits the paint and it shaves a little bit of that tip of that pencil off. Interestingly, American-made Murado, Mexican-made Murado. I think you can see the difference, I hope you can, uh, in the ferrules and 
I think that this eraser is slightly larger. The circumference looks a little bit larger. But what I, what I wanted to point out is made in Mexico, made in the USA. Crimped on ferrule, glued on ferrule. Uh, and of course they are a different, different tone as well. Uh, one's really shiny. The the American is shiny, and the uh, Mexico made is um, kind of a matte or brushed looking. Okay, so let me get back to where I was, which was trying out this. Let me focus down here. So this is the barrel. Murado. Triangular number two. Mexico. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this too is uh, a bit darker than the USA made Murados, but not as dark. Uh, this barrel is not as dark as the paper mate uh, Murados. Slightly harder. Um, I think what I want to do is I'm trying to keep all this okay. Let's do, um, let's just, let's just do this. Let me come in a little bit closer. And let's just, let's just put a line down here. A little bit of a smudge. This is the USA barrel branded Murado. And we will Pair that with Mexico Paper Mate Classic Murado. <clears throat> yes, it's darker, it smudges more. Okay, let's do the Black Warriors. Very little. This is actually uh, USA, and this is Paper Mate. Now, we will do this one. Black Warrior. Mexico. Paper Mate. So I think um, we are seeing a pattern here between the US made pencils and the Mexican made pencils. And then finally this sort of oddball, this triangular Barrel branded Murado. Okay, so there they all are. So, Murado number two. Uh, the, just a, a sampling, and of course, if I had. Uh, more, uh, and I'm going to hunt for some, you know, of different vintages from different other manufacturers at the time. I don't know how often the formula for the core was changed, but uh, their uh, Murado is, you know, not consistent with regards to the kind of pencil it was. 
uh, depending on the time and the place of manufacturer and the company manufacturing. So I want to say thank you to Joseph for uh, some of these Murados that I didn't have. It was great to try them and I want to thank you for watching and spending some time as we look at these pencils and uh, I will say if you like what I do here please share subscribe hit the like button and you know what I'll look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog